Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim. I'm Lizzie. And I'm Emily. And we are playing the Lord of the Rings the card game, the Angmar Awakened campaign expansion. Uh, it's been a while since we've been at this, but we've had some scheduling difficulties, but we we're finally able to all get together tonight. Uh, if you remember, we are on our fourth attempt at the first uh, scenario in the campaign, Intruders in Chetwood. Uh, since we've failed three times, we're applying the three strikes you're out rule, and we're switching to easy mode for this playthrough. So I've taken out all of the, uh, what do I do with them? Taken out all of the encounter cards with the gold circle around the encounter set indicator. Uh, so all these are out to two of the orc war parties. So we've only got one orc war party now and uh, some other nasty stuff there that we won't have to deal with. <coughs> now the downside is our encounter deck now is only this thick. So. <laughs> We'll probably be going through it a couple times at least. Don't worry, because I have. <clears throat> All right, so we've got our, uh, we already drew our starting hands uh, before I started recording. I ended up getting uh, on my, after my mulligan, my first hand was like all allies and didn't think it was going to work very well. So I ended up getting a sneak attack Gandalf, which is always nice. I got a feint. Uh, Ranger Provisions, which will help somebody get some more resources. And then I got uh, Beach Bone and Honor Guard, which I won't be able to play for a while. Especially since, uh, what's her name, Naasia, one of my red heroes, can't be used to pay for allies. So, Aragorn's on his own for paying for those. <clears throat> All right. But let's go ahead and get everything set up here. <clears throat> All right, getting some nasty glare on the cards there. Can we bring the, that in a little closer? That's good. All right, so for our scenario setup, uh, I'm not gonna read all the flavor text again, uh, but we put Iarian into play. He always goes with the first player, um, which will be me, I'll be the initial first player for this. Uh, add one orc or party to the staging area. And each player adds one different location to the staging area and then shuffle the encounter deck. So I've pulled out one of each of the five locations that are in this. So we need to decide which ones we want. Uh, I think we've been going for uh, this rugged country because it doesn't... Uh, have any effect as long as the current quest isn't a side quest and initially it won't be um, what else do you guys think um, this is uh, a player chooses and engages an enemy in the staging area to travel there Chet this is forest. one of the ones we always have yeah I think so I don't remember what the other one is maybe that one that picture one, one yeah because it's threat is only the number of quest cards in play which initially will be only one so we're gonna go with those three I think so. this one is when borders of Breland is in the staging area it gains forced at the beginning of the quest phase return one enemy engaged with the player to the staging area definitely don't want that happening right off the bat I don't think mm -mm. so we'll go with these three and our Orc War Party. Give the Encounter Deck a shuffle. Let's see if I can get this glare. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I don't know if it'll help. 
I have that thing to go over the bottom of the light mm -hmm. when I play my other game here, but that's I'm pretty much filming straight under it though, so I don't know if it'll help much here. We'll just deal with it. All right, the counter deck is shuffled. Is it team? Put that in there. All right, then we've got our campaign set up. We are playing campaign mode. Uh, set up, attach Iarian's pendant to Iarian, which we've done. It gives him plus one willpower, and then we can use it once to either cancel a win revealed effect or cancel a shadow effect. Um, protect the innocent. Uh, uh, add protect the innocent side quest to the staging area. So that's the one where we have to put a damage on it anytime an attack damages a character. And if it ever gets to 20 or more, we lose the game. We don't actually put it in the staging area, though. We just keep it over here with the other quest card. And each player may place four damage on Protect the Innocent to add one resource to each of their hero's resource pools. Now, because we're playing easy mode, we actually start with a resource in each resource pool. Uh, so we'll have three or two per character uh, to start with anyway. And then if we want to add four damage to the uh, uh, side quest, we can start with three resources on each character. So I think I'm okay not doing that. I'll take it. Are you going to do it, Lizzie? No. Okay. I don't want to kill people. So we're going to put four damage on there. With my three balls. Uh, so Emily can add an additional resource. <clears throat> and that is all for setup. So I think we are ready to begin. So resource phase, we add another resource to each hero's resource pool. Yeah. That's what I said. We start with one because we're in easy mode, and then you're going to get a second one from uh, the first resource phase. I didn't hear that part. I don't need And I said we can do that if we want to have three resources on each hero. Listen with your ears. So we're not adding four damage to the... So I was like, why do you need so many resources? <laughs> All right. And draw a card. I got Ingold. I think I've seen him yet. Plus one resource for each hero you control with at least one resource in its resource pool. So he starts with zero willpower. He can potentially have up to three if we're... All of my heroes are loaded down with resources. He costs three. It's kind of expensive. All right. I am going to play... What do we think the first location we're going to explore is? Probably the one that gets plus two if threat. It helps. I have drawers now. Which also is ignore the counter force. Oh, yeah. Which could... Uh, which means we could ignore the travel cost on Chetwood Forest and we wouldn't have to engage an enemy. I mean, we can do that later too because it's just a right. attachment. Um, but I'm going to put Ranger Provisions on whichever one we think we're going to explore first and then the first player will get to add one resource to each of their hero's resource pools. So, probably Rugged Country. Get that out of there before... It gets bumped up from uh, from us explore or going on a side quest. All right, so that's one purple, and then I will play. I think I'm gonna need to faint, so let's play. Oh, we forgot to flip over our uh, thing too. 
That's what it says. Side 1B. Because uh, I was like, I know there's some other special rules for this. It needs 30 progress. Enemies do not make engagement checks. So basically, we choose when to engage them. Uh, at the end of the refresh phase, though, we have to raise each player's threat by one for each enemy in the staging area. And we cannot defeat this stage unless the first player controls Iarian. And, and there's no Orc War Party. Once we defeat it, we win the game. Yeah, and then Orc War Party has a thing on it that says we can't win the game while it's in play. So we got to get rid of the Orc War Party and control Iarian. And have, uh, oh, you got the thing to banish them? Yeah. Nice. Uh, and have 30 progress, so. All right, so I think I'll go ahead and spend my two resources off of Aragorn. I can't use Nyasia to help pay for this. To put out Honor Guard. Um, he has a response. I can exhaust him to cancel one point of damage just dealt to a character. And he has three health and defends for one, but no attack, no willpower. That'll be it for me. Okay. King under the mountain. Two purples. Exhaust. Let's look at these two. And I think. I will discard this one so I can put him into play. Okay. That was a Arid Luin Miner. Yeah. He goes into play for free if he gets discarded. Hmm. <laughs> and then I'm going to play Legacy of Durin on him. So one Gween. And what does that do? Uh, after I play a dwarf character from my hand, exhaust it to draw a card. Okay. And look at this. A dwarf hero. A dwarf character. Herod Mithrin Prospector. So draw a card for a minute. And then, oh, wait. No, Herod, Herod Nimraeus Prospector. Okay, discard the top three cards. Discard. 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 Oh. No good stuff? Well, good stuff, but not good in the discard stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this back in because it's that one that lets us either draw cards or heal damage. Hmm. So. The long defeat. Yep. Let's take that back in there. And shuffly shuffle my deck. And also pay for this guy. And I'm done. Okay. Emily? I'm gonna play the Northern Tracker. Okay. Purple or blues. Oops. Oh man. I'm going to discard Elven Light and place a um, for Arwen's ability to give her a resource, and then I will use that resource to play it from my hand so that I can draw a card. Wait, you can put it back in here. Play it from your discard pile. Play it from my discard pile, yeah. Um, and then I'll put out Glaywine for two. Okay. Lowy. <laughs> All right, quest phase. Uh, so Iarian has willpower equal to the number of quest cards in play, which is currently two. Shh. And he gets plus one from his pendant, so that's three from him. Um, I think I'll, I'll go ahead and send... Do we decide which quest we're doing? Oh, yeah, we're going on the main quest. There's no reason to go on Protect the Innocent. There's no damage there. Um, mm -mm -mm. Probably should leave something back to block. And potentially attack. So... I 
think I'll send just Iarian and Halberd. So I'm sending five. You're sending seven? Sure. Or twelve? <laughs> twelve. And you're sending twelve? Mm -hmm. Wowzers. Twenty-four. Unless somebody wants to draw a card. I don't need to draw cards. I I do like a bunch of draw a card. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. But we like it's up to you. For do it. Card. Hard to Take one away and draw a card instead. So you're only sending 11? Yeah, I'll use Glaywine's ability to let you draw a card. And I drew another feint. Yay! Alright, so we sent 23. We currently have 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in there. Mm -hmm. Give me a card. It is an Angmar Marauder. After he attacks and destroys an ally, <coughs> excuse me, return him to the staging area. That's another three threat. Do you think mom actually heard that timer? This whole timer is because I'm preheated. Your card. It's a side quest. Yay. My most favorite no, one to me. rescue Iarion. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, while scouting ahead, Iarion is ambushed by several orcs. The ranger is knocked unconscious and dragged away by the orcs. You must rescue him. Time four. Okay, so like that removes rounds. three willpower from the quest. And yes, it means we have four rounds to... Rescue him, or lose. we lose the game. Oh, okay. When revealed, the first player loses control of the Iron and places him face down underneath this stage. When it's defeated, the first player takes control and exhausts him. Forced, after the last time counter is removed, discard the Iron. We now have three side quests in play, which bumps up our threat on the... Shrouded Hills. Angmar Orc. Two threat, two attack, three shields. When revealed, either discard one ally from play or reveal an additional encounter card. Oh, mm -hmm. also I forgot we're supposed to put a progress on each of them. Oh, right, because you sent Northern Tracker, right? Yes. All of our locations get a progress. Um... I guess I can discard Glay Wine. Yeah. I have another one in my hand, so. Okay, I was gonna say I could discard Honor Guard. He's just kind of chilling. Okay. He's Honor Guard. <clears throat> okay, so what do we got? Three, Three six, six, nine, <clears throat> ten, eleven. That one's three now, so fourteen, sixteen. Sixteen. And we sent twenty. So for progress, do we want to trigger Awen's ability at all? I mean, I have a second king of the mountain, so I can just toss it. Okay. So that'll bump us up to 21. Did you have any card you wanted to pitch for Awen's ability, Emily? Um, what are we at right now? We made five progress. We made progress. five progress so far, not five resources. Yeah, so I'll do this one. Okay. This is a side quest though. And it lets us discard five threat though. We don't need that. We're not gonna need it for a while. So. Okay. So we actually had twenty-two willpower, so we made six progress out of thirty. <clears throat> All right. Travel. Yes, we are traveling to the rugged country. It needs two more progress to explore. <clears throat> and then we've got Do encounter phase. At the end of this round or starting the next round? 
Uh, the time stuff? Yeah. I think it happens at the end of the round. So really, we only have three. Oh no, because that we'll have that fourth round when the last one would have come off. That oh, would be the fourth true. round that we have. <clears throat> um, let's see. Timex. At the end of each refresh phase, remove one time counter from each card with the Timex keyword if able. All right, so now we're on to the uh, encounter phase. Um, I will optionally engage, let's see, I'll be able to do, if I boost her, she has four attack. after the last one's removed, so right. as soon as it comes off, then you lose. Yeah. Which would be at the end of that round. That we already had a chance to do whatever we needed to do for it. But yeah, I guess we only have, we really only have three okay. rounds, yeah. <laughs> Why? Because one's going to come off this round. Right. And we didn't really have, a chance, have a chance to progress at this round because it came out during the... Uh, Are we allowed to choose to travel there when it comes out? Like, to change that? No. Mm -hmm. We should be able to. I mean... Why not? Theoretically, you could if that other encounter card came out that forces you to choose a different quest, but... It <clears> didn't. It did not. Um, let's see. So, this guy will have... One defense and four. So he'll take five to kill. They'll each take five to kill. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be he able to muster that. four. Hmm. Mm, unless you sneak attack Gandalf. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That guy, is this guy, he's not immune to player card effects, is he? So I could throw. It just can't have attachments. Right. So I could throw uh, four damage on him. Then he'd only take five to kill. Four. Well, four for me. Four. If he's engaged with me. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd rather save that when I'm actually going to... I mean, I guess I could engage him and then sneak attack Gandalf in and... Because actually he'd give me four more attacks, so four, five, six, seven, eight would be enough to kill him. And I could use his ability to kill that guy. And then after Aragorn participates in an attack... See, he would need to be a, an attacker, though, then. I could have... I could have this guy defend the honor guard. And then Aragorn could help kill. Yeah, let's do that. I'll go ahead and take the war party. Are you? Do you have enough resources to play that card? Yep, I saved one. Okay. So I'll engage. Scenario. I'll engage the orc war party. Are you taking anybody? Okay. Are you taking anybody? Nope. Okay. So we're on to the combat phase. Shadow card. Defend with honor guard. Defending character gets minus one defense for each quest stage in play. Doesn't matter, he was gonna die anyway. <laughs> so the honor guard is defeated. Add a damage so to funny. protect the innocent. And then I will play sneak attack. Sneak attack. 
and put Gandalf into play, who will deal four damage to the Orc War Party. And then I probably don't even have to boost her now, then. So four, five, six, seven. Oh, right, because I was going to be able to do enough to kill them outright. Yeah. So that's right. So his ability is going to put four down. Well, he was getting ready to attack. <laughs> so his four damage is going on this guy to kill him. And then attacking for four, five, six, seven. Eight nine, which is enough to kill the war party. I only needed eight because their defense is reduced by one. So the orc war party is dead. None return. Lizzie plays none return, which says no after more. a non unique enemy is destroyed, which they are non unique, uh, add none return to the victory display to add that enemy to the victory display. No more so, orc war party. We don't have to worry about the orc war party. Anywhere. Yes. On easy mode. <laughs> when you play easy mode, the other two get taken out. <clears throat> All right, end of the phase. Gandalf returns to my hand. And we go to the... Oh, and then uh, Aragorn is going to use his ability after he participates... In an attack that destroys an enemy, choose an enemy not engaged with you and engage that enemy. So I'll engage the Angmar orc. Because that will then allow uh, Halbrad to quest without having to exhaust. And also means we have zero enemies in the staging area, so we don't have to raise our threat any extra. So refresh phase. Uh, increase our threat. And remove a time marker from Rescue Iarian. All right, that's the end of round one. Oh, and pass the start player. Uh, resources and draw a card. Nice. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> and I got another faint. <laughs> so I now have three, all three of my faints in my hand. I guess I could have fainted that guy. I should, probably should have done that. I think we should uh, retroactively change that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much so of an impact is that for you to not have it here? Well, he gets his guy back, and we don't have the damage here. Right. That's what I'm saying, to not have his guy. Well, he lets... I can exhaust him to cancel a point of damage dealt to a character, so he'd be kind of nice to have around. So we'll spend one of Naasia's to play for faint on that orc war party, so he didn't actually attack me. <laughs> All right. Planning phase. King under the mountain. That's how this guy gets there to have in my hand. Put a cram on Dane. Okay. So free. And the That uh, Northern Tracker, is that just uh is that all locations or locations in the staging area? In the staging area. Okay. And Thor's map. You can have that one already. Done. Okay. I will discard Elven Light to activate the Elven's ability. Um, I now have all three of these dumb airborne record keepers in my hand. Four. Do you need an extra resource on Aragorn? Mm. Oh, if you don't Dan use it, then I'll, I'll use it to put Gleiline out. 
So if you have something better to do with it. No, that's fine. Card draw is always good. So one for him, and then I'll pay two to put him out. And that is all. Uh, you can't give the resource to him, can you? Yeah, he's Noldor. Oh, okay. I thought it was only R1 or... Nope, it's a Noldor Aragorn. character or hero. Noldor hero or Aragorn. Gotcha. Okay. Glaywine's back. Yep. Welcome back to the party. Not dead yet. You just got um, scared off. Well, I got nothing I can play, so. Oh, okay. Quest phase. I'm going to send some people over here. Okay. We're going here. We're going to rescue Iarian? Yeah, so okay. we don't lose. Three. We need six progress six. for that. No, we need eight. All right, because two goes on the location. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Eleven. Ten for you. Yeah. And you're sending eleven. That's twenty-one. I will send Halberad because he doesn't have to exhaust. And. Hmm? Oh, for the Northern Tracker. So one more on each. <clears throat> um, so we won't have to bother traveling there because next round. He's done. It'll be explored. So we're at 23. I think I leave everything else back. So that's it for me. 23. Committed to the quest. Rugged Country. If the current quest is a side quest, Rugged Country gets plus two threat. It is. A side quest. No. Lost in the woods. Is that where we lose all our cards? Yeah. Oh, no. Each player places all cards in their hand face down underneath. Oh, I'm glad I put my Elven Light down. Play it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, face down underneath Lost in the Woods. And then when we defeat it, we get them back. Yeah, It yeah. takes four progress. So that gives Shrouded Hills another threat. And I got Outlying Homestead, Doomed One. Emily, Doomed One. Okay. While Outlying Homestead is in the staging area, players cannot reduce their threat. And we have to reveal a card from the encounter deck in order to travel there. Or not. Or not, if you use Thor's map. Okay, so two, five, no, four. Right. Seven. seven. That one is four now. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen. We did it. That's it, right? Yeah. So we made ten progress. We don't need it. So two goes on uh, Rugged Country, which had Ranger provisions attached to it. So, after it's explored, the first player adds one resource to each of their hero's resource pools. That goes to my discard pile, and this goes to the, the first player. And then eight on the side quest, which is more than enough. So, Yarian is back. Oh, and it's victory. Get out of here. Right, yeah. You don't, all those side quests we only ever have to worry about once. So. <clears throat> so I think next we get our cards back. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Where are we traveling? Um, good question. Probably Not here. Yours. Well, if we're doing a side quest, then probably this one. Yeah, because that'll get four thread out of there. So travel to rugged country again. We were just there. <laughs> what? 
No, no you're the first player. I know, but aren't we done? No. We got encounter phase, we got combat phase, we got refresh phase. We're <laughs> not even close to being done. <laughs> All right. No one's anything, so right. So there's no enemies in the staging area, so we don't have to do that. But I'm going to deal with this Angmar orc fella. Um. So I will defend with. He needs uh, five to kill, right? So I will defend with Naasia. I'll spend a resource from her resource pool to give her two more defense. Shadow card. Uh, attacking enemy gets plus one attack. If this attack destroys an ally, return attacking enemy to the staging area. So he's attacking for three. She has four defense. So no damage. And I will swing back with Aragorn and Halberad for five, which kills the Angmore Orc. All right. Refresh phase. Increase threat. Pass the start player stuff. End of round two. Did you doom yourself? Yeah, did you get a plus one threat for that doom thing? Yes. And plus one for the end of the round? Yes. <coughs> You should be at three threat over your starting threat right now. Mm -hmm. uh, resource phase. Nice. I can pay for mine now. And draw a card. Oh, I don't have him. Once I get him back, I can pay for him. I got Sword of Numenor, which I can pay for. Attached to a Dunedain or Gondor hero. Attached hero gets plus one attack. And after he participates in an attack that destroys an enemy with five or more printed hit points, exhaust it to add one resource to the attached hero's resource pool. Could have used that when I killed that orc war party. Go away. Planning phase. Are you planning anything? Where'd you get yeah. that? You need to use play wise ability to draw a card. Okay. Ooh, it's over heart. Nice. Coin. Um, I'll play that, and then I'll put it on Arwen. What does it do? Um, it lets me, like, so I can exhaust it to take a card back in my hand after discarding it. Oh, nice. Me? I will spend one purple resource using her elven light. for a Sword of Numenor. Are you done? Um, I guess I can, well it's not really part of my planning phase, but I guess I can then discard that to give an extra resource and then just use my silver heart to get it back. Um. Okay. What? You got a resource, but you didn't. I'm discarding this card to activate Arwen's her, ability. Her ability is discard a card to give somebody a resource. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm using my silver heart. Which is exhaust the silver heart after you discard a card to take that card to get back, it right to back in her hand. So um, I'll give it to Griffin though, because I've got an int in my hand now, and he's expensive. Okay, he's green. He is green. Hmm. Okay, so <laughs> playing Sword of Numenor on Aragorn. That's it for me. Came under the mountain. Right here. Come here, kitty. Don't kick her super hard. Do we really need any more of this non return thing? What is it? The, the non return capture oh. anything. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, there's that one captain dude. Might not be bad to get rid of, but. Okay, can't do anything. Especially since oh, our encounter deck so small, we'll probably see them yeah. multiple times. Uh, I'm gonna put 
this on this. What is that? The long, the feet. Long. Oh, okay. <coughs> so you attach it to a side quest? To a quest. Any quest? Yeah, and once it gets finished. We either heal damage or draw two cards. Yeah, draw nice. damage or two cards. Okay. All right. Quest Come phase. Questy, questy. We need how much? Three plus four. We need seven, seven progress. So. Eleven. And how much is he? One. Quest card in play. How many quest cards are in play? Uh, three. So, fourteen. And did you count his pendant? Fifteen. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just sending Halbrad again, and he doesn't, or he does have to exhaust now. Um, so that's seventeen. Ten. Ten from you. I don't know. Do I need to send Halbrad? What do we have right now? Three, four, five. And that one's the number of quest cards. So that's currently three. Emily, did you put your quest so we have eight. points out for your northern All right. Tracker? Don't you, uh, don't you no. explore one of these locations now? Yes. All right. So northern tracker does that. So this is now explored. So that's three less thread in there. Yeah, I think I'll just keep Halbrad back. So that way if we get an enemy, I can should be able to kill him. So that's two fewer. So 25. All right, because you sent 14, you said, Emily? Nope, no, I sent 15. She sent 15. Oh, 15, and you sent 10. So 25. We can potentially boost our one by two. I don't have any cards, so I can't. I can't help with that. I don't want to do that. All right. Hey, if it means getting all our cards back, you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. But if it's necessary, I'll all right. Do your card. Draw a card. Oh. If it's gonna get us our cards back right away, it's fine because I have a dwarven tomb in my hand. Mm. Yeah, unfair, at least. What'd you get? Angmar Marauder. Okay. Three, three, two. Forced, after Angmar Marauder attacks and destroys an ally, return it to the staging area. Okay. Card for me is... Surprising Speed. When revealed, each player returns one enemy engaged with them to the staging area. If no enemy was returned to the staging area this way, Surprising Speed gains Surge and Doomed One. So no one has enemies engaged with them, so Doomed One and Surge. New card is Weight of Responsibility. When revealed, reveal one encounter card for each quest card in play. Which is three. You don't have any tanks of leaking tool? Just the pendant. That's true. One. Why are these upside down? Because Emily. that because when they're that <laughs> way, when you pull them out, they like pop out of their sleeve. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chetwood Forest is number one. And you like lift them up. Uh, Oops, pressing close. needs is number two. Doomed two. Oh my Here's where the wheels fall off. <laughs> Oh, once I get Either I search the encounter deck and discard pile for an encounter side quest and reveal it, or choose a different side quest card in play to be the current quest until the end of the phase. Shuffle the encounter deck. So what do we got left for side quests? We got the... Uh, the orc and the orc or something like that. Choose a different quest card in play to be the current quest. So we would choose that. Oh, I thought I said choose a different side quest. So we either have to put another side quest in play or switch to the main quest. I think switching to the main quest isn't terrible. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, that was number two. Number three is 
A side quest. Orc ambush. Several orcs spring upon you from their hiding place. Their surprise attack puts you on the defensive. You must fight to gain the upper hand. Each orc enemy gets plus one, plus one, plus one. When revealed, each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for an orc enemy and put it into play, engage with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. So have fun with that, Emily. What do you want? Something little. <laughs> that would be an orc. Angmar orc only attacks for two. The only other enemy in the encounter deck is that Angmar captain, which I'm assuming we don't want. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot. We were supposed to uh, shuffle the encounter deck. What? From that card. Oh. The one that was like, choose this or this? Yes. And then it says shuffle the encounter deck, no matter which choice you make. Oh, perfect. I thought you were saying the one that made you drop three cards. And I was like, oh, no. They weren't done with that one. Well, don't drop that one again. I'll try not. It is instead Rugged Country. Surprising speed. When it revealed, each player returns one enemy engaged with them. I have one. So <laughs> doomed one in surge. Okay. Borders of Breland. While Borders of Breland is in the staging area, it gains forced at the beginning of the quest phase. Return one enemy engaged with a player to the staging area. Okay. That's it. Okay. Two, five, seven, ten, ten, twelve, fifteen, fifteen. We're we here now. Yeah, we're on the main quest. We sent twenty-five. We sent twenty-five. So three goes on the location. And seven on the side quest, yep. or on the main quest. Main quest. So that puts us at five, eight, thirteen. Mm -hmm. Thirteen out of thirty. Wabble. Um. We can go to the rugged country again. <laughs> yes, we can. For the third time. Oh, did you count two extra threat for that? No, because it wasn't a side quest. Oh, right. It wasn't. <laughs> Probably. That's why I asked if you were on the main quest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Encounter phase. I'll take the Angmar Marauder. Oh, man. There's nothing left for us. Nothing. <laughs> Good, it was you got nothing. There was no enemies in the staging area at the end of the last round, right? Correct. Okay. No enemies even came up last time. Yeah. All right. Well, same deal. We'll spend one from Naasia to boost her defense. She will defend. It's that orc ambush, so that comes off as a shadow card. Nice. Nice. Oh, that means we don't use it. Or no, wait. I was going to say, I thought that they still... Do they still come into play even if they go off as a shadow, shadow card? <laughs> Listen, if we would have done it wrong, we would have had to replay it no, even if just we win. Let's see. Side quests. Uh, each encounter side quest and encounter side quest is revealed from the encounter deck is added to the staging area. Because side quests are quest cards as well as encounter quests and counter cards, the win revealed effects of side quests cannot be canceled by player card effects. If a side quest is dealt as to an enemy as a shadow card, it functions as any other encounter card without a shadow text. What the heck? Well, no, I don't think it does. Well, good. 
because it says when it's revealed from the encounter deck, it's added to the staging area. But this is a shadow card, and it has no shadow effect, so it just gets discarded. Yay! You fix that. <clears throat> we All right. So three attack. She has four defense, so she takes no damage. And these two guys team up to kill this guy. And then Aragorn can engage another enemy, but there are none. Refresh phase. Increase threat up to 38. Pass the start player, hoo-ha. End of round three. We still have no cards back. Not yet. Hopefully this time. <clears throat> so resource phase. Um, draw a card. I got secret vigil. Attached to an enemy. Limit one per enemy. Attached to enemy gets minus one threat. When attached enemy is destroyed, reduce each player's threat by the attached printed enemy's printed threat. Except we can't because Outlying Homestead is in the staging area. So no one can reduce their threat right now. All right. I'm not playing anything because that's the only card I have and there are no enemies in play. <laughs> King under the mountain. We'll discard you to make you come into play. Another Arid Lewin Miner. Yep. And then <coughs> also play another Prospector. Stinky Pete. <laughs> what does he do? Discard three cards. Three, discard three cards. Mm. To who? Three. No good stuff. No. One card. Are you going to take any card back from your discard pile? Mm -hmm. We'll do this one. I was like, they're still getting money. It's just so hard coming from the state now instead of directly from the parents. And they're getting more money. All right. You playing anything, Emily? Yeah. I'm going to use um, my Elven Light to draw a card. Okay. And ooh, a test of will. And would somebody else like to draw a card? Sure. I've only got one. Okay, go ahead. It's unusable at the moment. I got another Ingold. I guess. If you wanted to play that this round, I could have done that before your prep starts. <laughs> um, and I will put out Lolling Hall Preserver. It comes in exhausted. Okay. And that is all. Okay. Questy quest. Uh, we're going lost in the wilderness. We're going to go find ourselves. Um, I will send Iarian for four currently. And I think that will be all. Okay. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. 11, 12. 12? Yep. So 16. 11. Okay. And Northern Tracker? Yep. No, not that one. You need another one. Did this one just come out? It just came out last round. 
Because last time it was just that one that had the yeah. Thing. All right. And there's the other one that I got finished. Outlying Homestead, Doomed One, and while it's in the staging area, we can't reduce our threat. Did you Doom One? No, I want to, so I say no. <laughs> no! I thought we were on side quests. No, there's one other one. Orc Rear Guard. Some of the orcs have broken from the war party. There is no war party. There's nothing <laughs> to break from. To hinder your pursuit until you deal with them, it will be difficult to continue your chase. No more than three progress tokens can be placed on the current quest each round. Mm. While orc <laughs> rearguard is the current quest, it gains forced at the end of the staging step. Reveal a card from the encounter deck. Hmm. But only while it's the current quest. Okay. So that's the only thing it does is limits the amount of uh, yes. progress. Yes. Okay. Test of will wouldn't help with that, would it? You can't test of will. No, you can't. You can't cancel when revealed stuff on uh, side quests. Okay, Emily. There isn't any revealed stuff. That's what I was asking. I didn't know if that was unrevealed or what. Angmar Captain. Ooh, the I big boy. Forced. Oh, after he attacks and destroys an ally, discard the top card of the defending player's deck. If the discarded card is an ally, the captain makes an additional attack against the defending player. Ouch. Yup. He needs six to kill. I'm going to be one short. It's okay. I can faint in the... No, I can't. Those are all <laughs> lost in the woods. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I don't have anything to help you. So what do we got there? Two. Uh, how many quests? Do you there have? are now four quests and quest cards in play. Two, oh, and that six. bumps up uh, the Aryan's willpower by one as well. Yes. Two, six, eight, eleven, fourteen, sixteen. 16 total? Yep. And we made 20, or we had 28, so we make 12 progress. So but three goes on to explore rugged another rugged country. And then we can only put a max of three on this. So the other six are wasted. We need one more progress to get our cards back. <laughs> Have we lost anybody in combat yet? No. No one's even taken damage yet. Okay. Just checking. We did originally, but then we retconned that. Wow. And, and I played faint. Um. Those. Probably. Well, since we only need one progress on this, we should probably do one of these that needs like eight. I was going to say one of the outlying homes, do you? Yeah. Might as well do this one. What's the travel? There's no travel call. Oh, yeah, there is. Reveal a card from the encounter deck. You want to cancel that with Thror's map? Yes, it's a travel action. So. Discarding right now to choose okay. the location in the staging area and make it the active location. Okay. Even if there was already one there. And ignore travel cost? Yeah. Just says make it the active location. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Are you fighting anybody? Probably. Well, now is the time. To yep, might as well. I'll engage the Angmar captain. He gets a shadow card. The last card. Mm -hmm. um, I'll boost Nyasia's defense to four. And attacking enemy gets plus one attack. So he's attacking for six, so she takes two damage. You 
don't have any of your Healy stuff out yet, do you? Oh, this guy can heal though, right? Yeah, he can. Um, and that puts a damage on. That puts a damage on protect the innocent. And then I will attack back for five. He has nobody has any ranged characters, I guess. Unfortunately, no. Okay. So he has one defense, which means uh, only four gets through. He's still got one health left. Discard the shadow card. <coughs> um, refresh. Oh, and I'm going to use Honor Guard to, uh, oh man, if I only had one more threat, I could have canceled up to five points of damage, but I can cancel one point of damage that was dealt to Naosia. Once I'm at 40 threat, he has a Valor response. I can exhaust and discard him to cancel up to five points of damage. All right, so refresh all that. Start player stuff moves. Add a threat. Do you bump your threat, Emily? Yes. End of round four. You should be ten over your starting threat. I have two and I got another glare line. <laughs> well, you can't play him. Resources, and I got a Dunedain Hunter. King under the mountain. Discard you, put you in. I'm getting good use out of these guys this time. Oh man. Alright. Um do you want me to murder that man? <laughs> mm -hmm. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what you I mean. have two band dogs, and I don't uh, really need to draw cards, and I have no damage to heal, so I could just pound him. You can't heal damage. In the face. Well, I can't reduce you my You can't threat. reduce your That's threat. That's what I meant. And I don't really need cards, so I can play him. I don't have to, but... Yeah, I don't know that we really need Gandalf right now. Okay. Get out of here, Gandalf. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to be a... I guess if you think we might get an enemy come out, then you could take them. But it's up to you. Um, anyone yeah. got an attachment they I want mean, to put back got... in their hand? The topmost the top from most, your uh, Well, it would be ranger provisions from me. That wouldn't be bad. Get some more resources to somebody. Okay, do it. I get ranger provisions back in my hand because yeah, Lizzie played. Card. Who is that that does that? The Airborne Hammersmith. Airborne Hammersmith. Airborne Hammersmith. Um. Oh, there's so many cards I can't play. I guess I'll do this. You gotta be kidding me. I just used my hidden cash, spent a resource to draw a card. Do you know what I drew? Hidden, hidden cash. cash. Uh huh. <laughs> well, you can do it again. <laughs> no, not to. It costs a whole resource. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Okay. Emily? That was annoying. Um. I'll discard Elven Light. Um, and give, do you need any resource help on Aragorn? Not really. He's got four. He wanted to block him down then. And then I'll use Arwen's to play it. 
Oh look, another Elven Light. Well, in that case, I'll discard two Elven Lights to play Elven Jeweler instead of paying for her. Do I know? Her thing is that the Elven Jeweler, you can discard two cards from your hand to put Elven Jeweler into play under your control mm. instead of paying your resources. For it. Nice. So I'll discard my two Elven Lights. Okay. And then... Any cards you're looking for in particular? I'll draw one. I still haven't seen one of those forest snares. Another unexpected courage. Now I'll have okay. three if we ever <laughs> manage to get our cards back. <laughs> I mean, I could use an unexpected courage. I'm going to say, can you not pay for that? Yeah, I can pay it. Do you want one? Yeah. Well, why are you paying on to those? I don't know. Get out of here. Well, the other ones I didn't have... Enough time to play them because they got lost. Yeah, because then I can start sending Aragorn questing. And oh, wait a minute, I forgot. He gets plus one from this weapon thingy, so he did kill this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lucky that I kept a green resource back last time. So you time. did have a green resource available. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's I gone always, for good now. I always too. keep a green resource when I have those. <laughs> Okay. Yep, I'm done. 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 Playing. Nope. I am going to play Ranger Provisions on our active location. So once that's explored, the first player will get an extra resource on all their heroes. We're going lost in the wilderness again. Yes. Hopefully we'll Three, be found six, in the wilderness seven, this time. Yeah. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 16, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Oh, I have this guy too. Uh, 18. 18 from you? Yeah. Fifteen. So that's thirty-three. Um, I'll send Aragorn. Use unexpected courage to ready him. So that's another two. <clears throat> um, I guess that'll be it. Thirty-five should be plenty, right? That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> to make. Nine progress. Wow, there's no cards. I guess we don't do anything. <laughs> Reshuffling the encounter deck. Which means that orc war party could be coming Shh, back. Don't put that on. Which, Emily, you might want to start leaving somebody back to defend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you do your northern tracker thingy? No. <laughs> Emily Joe. <Jill. laughs> So this one's explored. Which means that yeah. should have been shuffled in. Yes. And then Pay attention uh, to your northern track. We get another progress on all these. He's doing some work. This scenario. Surprising speed. Each player turns an enemy engages in the decision area. If not possible, doomed, doomed surge. one and surge. Doomed one, Emily. Okay. Yeah, that orc war party's back in the mix now, so you might want or not orc, orc war party. The orc uh, ambush. Ambush. Side quest. So you could end up with an enemy. Shrouded. So you might want to start leaving somebody back. Just got rid of. Hmm. Emily, come get your trial card. And increase your threat. (sighs) 
Chetwood Forest. Okay. It's not sideways, so that's good. Angmar Marauder. After Angmar Marauder attacks and destroys an ally, return to the staging area. What? All right, so what do we got? This one is worth four. Two, six, nine. Nothing else ten, is being 11, boosted by side quests, right? Correct. 11 okay. plus six, 17. Okay. And you counted him oh, as. Wait, why did we do that? Do what? what do you mean? We can only put three progress on. On the current quest, right? Yeah, but doesn't this count as a current quest? No, that's not a quest. That's a location. <laughs> yeah, on the current quest. All right, so how much do we have? 17. You counted him as five, right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Plus how many? Five? Yep. Twenty one. Twenty one. I don't, I don't think you said twenty one. I don't remember. You that said was like, so long ago. You well, said you like said eighteen. Question, yeah. You definitely don't <laughs> say twenty one like, I don't know. Where'd you get eighteen? I don't know. <laughs> so how much did you actually send? Three, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, plus that. 21. Yep. Okay. So you said 18. I don't So it's three <laughs> more. Sure. All right. And what do we have for threat? 17. 17? <laughs> so we made 21 progress. What? <laughs> <laughs> we got our cards back. So this is explored. Which means ranger provisions. First player adds a resource to each of their hero's resource pool. And we only needed one additional progress beyond that. To defeat Lost in the Wilderness. So we get our cards back that we've been missing most of the game. <laughs> and this goes to the victory display, never to be seen again. For everyone! So I got my two feints, another Ingold. Everybody draw two cards if you'll Beach find Beachbone and Gandalf back. There's so yeah. many cards now. Were you able to... Can you heal my uh, damage off of a uh, Naasia? Yeah. Draw two cards and heal five damage. One. That's all she has. Okay. Draw two cards or remove five damage. Yeah. I'll draw two cards. Look at all these cards. Another secret vigil and Whoa. another honor guard. <laughs> you gone through your deck yet? No. <laughs> That's the objective of the dwarf deck. Get through your whole deck. Yeah, well, we're working on it. Okay, so travel phase. Yep. I don't know, do we want to go to that other one that's preventing us from losing threat? Sure. Dropping threat? And I assume we're going to do orc rear guard next, so we only need three extra progress. So we'll need six plus three is nine progress to get through that next time. <clears throat> you gonna engage anything? We'll leave why, them for you. Why you keep leaving them guys back? For the York <laughs> ambush. <laughs> you gonna take anybody? No. I figured you wanted to kill stuff so you can have him. I'll take the Angmar Marauder. Uh, give him a shadow card. I mean, I might as well faint him, right? Sure, why not? <laughs> Just in case something nasty happens. There's no more big bad guys to deal with, so. Um, I'll use hers to pay for that. Since it doesn't do anything else for me. Um. 
Did I get to play cards this time? Yeah, I just played that Ranger Provisions, right? Is that yeah. all I played? I guess that's all, I, that's all I had at the time, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're fainting the uh, Angmar Marauder. And then we'll attack back with... Uh, he's four now, so four, five, six is enough to kill him. Shadow card was his twin. Fix that, please. And refresh phase. Easy. Increased threat. That is the end of round five. What's this card? Um, it's What's this? It's his pendant. Or is it a guy? Iarian. I was trading. <clears throat> okay. Resources. Now I actually have some stuff to spend all these resources on. you put them on uh, Glorfindel that way you can send him quest and then he'll still be available to uh, defend if you if we get ambushed well he's not a good defender though hmm? he's only got one shield he's, yeah, a good attack. he's got five health though, so. yeah. I don't know but I could put another one on somebody else he could be an attacker you can only go on a hero though I don't know. If you don't want to put him on him, I mean, I could always use it on. Well, I've got another one. Nashia or. Lizzie, do you want unexpected courage on any of your heroes? Yeah. I don't really do much with them. <laughs> I could put another one on Aragorn. That way he could quest, attack, and defend. It's all of you. And now that you need any more resources? Mm, I don't think so. <coughs> um, I'll discard to put a resource from Armin. I'm going to use my silver heart to take it back. Okay. Done? Mm hmm. Alright, I'll spend three red resources to play Beachbone. Huh? He enters play exhausted. And uh, I will spend three purple resources to play Ingold. He gets plus one. Willpower for each hero you control with at least one resource in its resource pool, which is currently two. And that is all. King under the mountain. I feel like we're in a position to steamroll this thing now. Don't say that. Well, we're not. We have to do this first. <laughs> I know, but I mean to steamroll the game. The rest of the game. What do we have to do first? We have to get rid of the orc rear guard so we can put more than three progress on a quest. Hopefully avoid the orc ambush again. Okay. Oh, 
What are you doing? Okay. Didn't get any triggers off of that either, huh? Yeah. All three of them were duds for you. Mm -hmm. I still haven't seen my card that lets me put these. One of these Ranger of the Norths into play, yep. Yeah. They go into the encounter deck. Um, that's all. Okay. Quest phase. Oh. Sending anybody in? Cool. cool. Ow. How much are you sending? Don't forget to leave a defender back. How much? Oh, I don't need to anymore because he got unexpected courage. So you are going to defend with him? Yeah, if I need to. Alright. Um. I mean, I do have a feint, so. Oh, that's done. <laughs> Hold on a second. How much is? How many quests are out right now? There are currently three. Is that quests or side quests? Uh, quest cards. There are three quest cards in play. Okay, so so he's worth four, so 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. Okay. Are we getting rid of that thing yet? Is that what we're doing this round? Well, you have to decide. Or the first player. Yeah, which quest are we going on? Let's do that one. The rear guard? Yeah. Good choice. Excuse we would have chosen that. We would have been an elbow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, I will send Ingold for two and Aragorn for two and ready him with one of his unexpected courages. So we're at 24. All right, Lizzie. Peaky peaky. It's not a location, it's an more work. Uh, okay. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <clears throat> so I read something 13, online 16. about this guy. And technically, you're supposed to, because you commit all of your characters at once, his response doesn't trigger until you've committed all of your characters. What is his response? That's where she gets to look at the top card, and if it's a location, put her progress on the current quest. Mm -mm. Otherwise, he gets minus one willpower. You hear that, Lily? So you can't like use him to see what's coming and then decide use that to decide who you're gonna send. You have to send everybody first and then his response triggers. Okay. Well, I think I did eat. You I'll think? <laughs> Why are you distracting me? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. So eighteen and twenty four is Forty-two. Forty-two. Yep. Angmar Orc. When revealed, either discard an ally from play or reveal an additional encounter card. Uh, I you didn't do one of mine. Have a bunch. I mean, I could also do Glay Wine because I have another one up in my hand again. <laughs> okay. He wasn't on the quest. Okay. Or, actually, I think he was on the quest. You don't have to give them a card? No, I don't think so. You can count them in the quest. So minus one. 41. Card. Uh, surprising speed. 
When revealed, each player returns one enemy engaged with them to the staging area. Blah, 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 blah. Doomed one surge. So, doomed one. No. Soige. No. At least we can reduce our threat now. <laughs> uh, rugged country. So, it's four. Again? Again. There's three of them in there. Thing won't work. Discard an ally from something. So, goodbye. He wasn't on the quest? No. Okay. All right. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is three. So 13, 14, 15. This is 4, so 19. 41 minus 19 is more than 9. <laughs> so that location is explored. Orc rear guard is defeated. Oh. No, just at the staging stuff. Is that what we were just doing? Yeah, so we were supposed oh. to reveal an extra card. So we gotta lose another ally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could toss. No, it's fine. In gold. I got like a thousand over here. Somewhere. All right. <clears throat> so we still had more than nine. So that's defeated. And encounter phase. Travel phase. Or oh, travel phase. Right. Um, Timeout. Emily. You didn't do your northern tracker again, did you? Literally, you are the worst. I'm sorry. So that one jet with worse is which? In there. All right. Well, which ones got revealed? This rugged country got revealed, right? Yeah. Mine and then was three. Did this, works. Okay. So this shrouded hills was already here. Yes. Okay. So here, 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 and here, which means this is explored. Every time that you forget to do the Northern Tracker, you're going to lose a finger. We still okay. had more than nine. <clears throat> Way more than nine. Now travel. Yes. So this one's going to be done next round, so we don't need to worry about that. Probably this one that's... Well, we're probably, we're probably just going to go on the main quest next time, right? And just yeah. throw everything at it. Yeah. How much do we have left on that one? We have 13, 13, so we need 17. Nope. Just the Orc Wolfhard. And it's already gone and will never to return. And nothing can take Iarian from us anymore, so. Um, I mean, do we just want to not travel anywhere? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this this requires more progress than it would be subtracting. This this is equal. Yeah, I'm okay with not traveling because then we can put all of our progress on the quest instead of having to. Right, but well, this would probably make sense to do though because it's contributing three threat, but it only needs two progress to finish. But we have to travel. Don't we? Like, mm -hmm. there's a travel effect, isn't there? Oh, yeah, one player chooses and engages an enemy in the staging area. Oh, do you want an enemy? I'm fine with that. I thought it was revealed. <clears throat> what should I take? <laughs> so many All right, so now encounter phase. Mm -hmm. Emily? No. Are you going to take anything? No, thank you. Um... Yes. Actually, I have a question. Oh, you're going to take one? Sure. Oh, then I don't need to then. Hey, wait, I, can, I have a question. I can kill this one and then take that one. Oh, okay. Well, wait, I have a question. Okay. Question. This fair and perilous card, I can play this whenever, right? Because it just says action. It says action, yeah. Any, um, any action window. So, if I play that, then, because you, did you say you have a faint card? Mm -hmm. Then I can kill that guy. If we want to just... Mm -hmm. Nixon, the, the other last guy that's in there. Because okay. he lets me want. add 
the character's willpower to its attack. So, I so he would attack for six. Roll for me to kill him. Mm-hmm. So you are taking something? Yeah, I'll take him. Okay. And I'll use unexpected courage to ready Glorfindel, and I'll spend a blue resource to play fair and perilous, and I choose you. Okay. Well, so you don't good. you don't want to do that until because it's only until the end of the phase, I assume, yeah, right? We're not in that phase yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, we almost are. Okay. So that was the encounter phase. Okay. So now we're in the combat phase. Okay. Now. <laughs> Shadow. Why are you putting it in there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> Shadow. Shadow. In the shallow, shallow. Okay. <laughs> and then you want me to faint that nerd? Yeah, please. Just hold it here. Third and final faint played. Um, my guy, I will spend a resource on Naisha, Naasia, however you say her name. Naisha. <laughs> and defend. Uh, they get plus one for each quest card in play, which is two. So attacking for four, she has four defense, so no damage. How about yours? Who are you defending with? Dine? Yeah, might as well so that. Nothing. Hopefully no one takes damage. Nothing. Okay. Doesn't go back there yet. Well, it does now. <laughs> Emily, do so you think he attacks for two? Yeah. And he has three defense? Oh, yeah, because I did the Yep. Okay. He laughs at me. He says, oh, oh, oh. Okay, Emily, attack. Six. He's dead. Okay, you gotta exhaust your attacker. Hey, look, it's Ooh, and ambush. the orc ambush was the shadow card again. <laughs> Sweet. <Yeah. laughs> Alright, and then four, five, six. Let's kill this guy. He says, hi -ya. And then I can take because someone that's not engaged with me. Do you want me to take him off of you? I don't care. Can you kill him? No, I can do one damage. Oh. Yeah, I will ready Aragorn. Here you go. And Aragorn will attack for four, which does two damage. You had somebody that could attack for four? No, I said I'm going to do one attack. Oh, you know, you said you do one damage. <laughs> yeah, but nothing gets That's through. zero damage. <laughs> I do one damage, but it doesn't make it through. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so the only thing I think that could mess us up... Is if we get that thing that makes us switch the current quest. Okay, well, don't put that out <laughs> to the <laughs> universe. All right, so in uh, refresh phase. Okay. Put that Pass the stuff, Emily. Increase threat, threat 44. Put some resources out to 40. Draw cards. <clears throat> Card. That's end of round six. Card is Calabrian Stone. Can't afford to pay for it though.
I'm first. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do. Are you gonna play Gandalf, or do you want me to play Gandalf? You can play Gandalf. Okay. Gandalf. downside to that unless Emily can give me a resource first because I won't have a resource on the Asia to boost her defense. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. And when he comes into play I will reduce my threat by five. Okay. <laughs> that is all for me. Okay. King under the mountain. To get a king under the What you do? Exhaust X dwarf heroes to add X resources to a hero's resource pool and draw a card. Nice. And then I'll use this crayon to ready day. Okay. Is that it? No. I just have to find my other cards. Uh, let's put a crayon under. Does anyone else need a crayon? Can I go on anybody? Yep. What does it do? It's like a one-time unexpected courage. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then... Do, 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 do. Where's my card go? Uh, where are you? I just had you. I have too many cards in my hand. There you go. Gloin! And since I control at least five dwarf characters, I have to play Gloin for a hand. Choose zero, I have two resources. Here you go, buddy. And then. Actually, I did need you to do that, Emily. Because I forgot she can't be, she can't pay for, uh, I can't use her to pay for Alan's. So I couldn't have used her resource anyway. Yeah. There's only Let's one that I have in her, right? Ranger provisions again. <laughs> oh, I don't have any attachments in my hand. You I mean, can't I can't, mean, I can't play it this turn, but then it cram it is. Okay. No one needs a cram still. Yeah. Okay, so I got that. Oh, I paid for this guy. And I draw a card to play with this thing. Oh look, I have all three Gandalfs in my hand. Mm. Join your brethren. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, uh, that's it for me. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go back and make sure I didn't use one of Nyasa's resources to pay for Gandalf. Because then we would have to redo this scenario. Mm -mm. No, we just redo the play Gandalf. Well, I mean, if we didn't right catch now, it until the after we were done. Right oh, I was like, <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I confirmed that Nasi only had one resource on her, so I used 
Aragorn had three. Uh, Halbrad had one. And then you used Eowyn to give Aragorn a fourth resource. So that was the five that paid for Gandalf. So I did not use one of hers for that. You playing anything? Bless. Um, I'll do two to put out Gleowine again. <laughs> For the third time. Third time. This <laughs> and oh, God. Yeah, we want to be able to play it this round, so and hopefully this is the last round. Airbar hammers. Okay. I think I will just leave it at that. Okay. Done. Orc, orc ambush is in the discard pile, right? Correct. And how many cards are left in the draw pile? One, two, three. So if there's no surges, we won't have to reshuffle the deck. But just in case, you still might want to. Well, you still got Glorfindel, yeah. right? That you can defend with if you need to. Like All right. <clears throat> so quest phase. I will send Aragorn and ready him with Unexpected Courage. We're going on the main quest, by the way. Um, I will also send Gandalf. And I will send a Halberad, and he doesn't have to exhaust because he is uh, uh, we have an enemy engaged with us. So that's two, six, seven, eight. I'll send Iarian for another three, so that's eleven. And I will send. Beach bone for another two, so that's 13. Okay, yeah. actually, let me look at something. We're allowed to look at the discard pile, right? No. Okay, so that card that makes us. Because if this wasn't in the discard pile, then I was going to choose this. <laughs> because that would mean one of those would make us switch to this quest. But it's in the discard pile. And I'm fairly certain there's only one of them when you play on easy mode. So We will go with the main quest. Okay, what does that do? Plus two everything for the rest of the round. Nice. Um, Is he questing? Oh, everybody's question. <laughs> Every single person. Except Dane. Nope, even him. I will say why in a moment. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27. He doesn't get plus one, does he? Oh, I was looking at his attack. 26. And then I do this for him. Yeah, but it's not 26 now anymore. It will be. Okay. <laughs> so I do this. Yep. It is not a location. Okay. <laughs> you have a Cancel Test of will? Yeah. That cancels one revealed. You're going to want to use it. <laughs> it's like, reveal one encounter card for each quest card you play. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not a location, so he doesn't get... He, I didn't count his full thing, so... Right. Um, 26. Boom, boom! The lore of Moria. Ready all dwarf characters. Okay. Sure. 
Now I'm ready for it. Okay. Well, it doesn't ready their attachments, though. Okay, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Done? What did I say? 26? So that's 26. Mm-hmm. It's actually plus two more. I forgot to count my turn. So 28. So 28. So 41. I am amazed. Sixteen. Oh. Even if she didn't have a test of will, that would be an ER yeah, pendant. For sure. <laughs> Burn for that. Sixteen for me. Sixteen. So fifty seven. Fifty seven committed to the quest. Plus an extra three if we need it. Emily. Weight of responsibility. When revealed, reveal one encounter card for each quest card in play. Time out. What did you do? No, time out. I she didn't that. do her And mother. what did you just do? Trevor. <laughs> Where was that one at? This one's done. The other one's has. And this goes in your discard pile, not in the staging no, area. I was... Stop. <laughs> Dang it. Boom. It's canceled. So that one revealed is canceled. Oh, did that explore one of those locations? Yes. Nice. Guess what? Rugged country. Okay. There's a lot of that around Emily. here. Oh, oh, oh. Borders of Breeland. While in the staging area, it gains at the beginning of the quest phase. Return one enemy engaged with a player to the staging area. Okay. Okay. Is that so what do we got? Then? Hmm? When does it return a thing to the stage? At the beginning of the quest phase. Okay, so no. not right now. Okay. It would be right. next round. If we have it. I think we might have missed that before. Do the last time it was out there weren't any enemies engaged. There weren't? Okay. Two. 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 Four. Six. I can't see that one. Eight. Eight. Well you've sent fifty seven. So I think we made 17 progress. <laughs> but we're done. Main quest defeated. We can't. Easy we can't mode for the win. <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Is there an epilogue on this one? I don't know. There is. Emily, there's an epilogue. All right, we do have an epilogue to read, but first, let's figure out our score. So, uh, final threat level, mine was 39. How was yours 39? Because I dropped it oh, with okay. Gandalf. 40. Emily? Final threat, threat level. 42. Uh, threat cost of each dead hero, none. Uh, damage tokens on remaining heroes. Zero. None. I feel like they need like a medium. Version. Well, they do have what people call sleazy mode. <laughs> slightly easy mode. Uh-oh. Where yes. you just give... All your heroes an extra resource, but you still leave all the cards in. That feels like not enough. <laughs> like that barely does anything. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much the extra resources at Maybe the beginning makes a difference. Feel like that would be uh, so our combined sum total is uh, <laughs> yes, nine, eleven. Instead of all the way hard. Uh, eight, nine, twelve, one twenty-one victory points. Mm-hmm. What do we got in the victory display there? Probably like 30 something. 10. 32. I think 10. it's just the side quests. No, it's my cards. I think do they, they have points on them? No. Oh, I thought they I had I don't think one. so. 10. So 30. 30. And then 10 points per round. We complete. We had six complete rounds. We were on round seven. So that's 60. So 121 plus 30 basically. 151. And then for the epilogue, 
Do not read the following until the heroes have won this quest. Iarian leaned on the hilt of his sword and watched the last of the orcs flee to the east, away from peaceful villages near at hand. The ranger and his company of heroes had chased their quarry to the very borders of Breeland, where they forced their enemy to turn and give battle. The war party was better armed and better disciplined than the sort of ordinary rabble the ranger was accustomed to hunting, but in hindsight it seemed clear to Iarian that the orcs were bent more on pillaging than fighting, for they broke and fled after only a short battle. Clearly these orcs did not expect to be met by such determined resistance, said one of the heroes triumphantly, looking down at the body of the last orc they had slain before the rest turned to flee. Roused from his tired musings, Iarian turned to face them and replied gravely, Yes, but the audacity of their attack unnerves me. The orcs have not dared to venture this far west in years. What is it that leads them here now? The heroes could see the concern in the ranger's eyes, and the rush of victory faded as they considered the implications of his question. I'm afraid our work is not yet finished, my friends, said Iarian, gazing into the distance. There is to be a gathering of the Dunedain at Fornost in a few days to celebrate the autumnal equinox. I must go thither with news of this attack, for I fear it is but a prelude of things to come, and the rangers must be ready for what follows. Turning to the heroes with him, Iarian continued, However, we cannot allow these orcs that fled to escape, or they may return again in even greater numbers. Since I must go to Fornost, I ask you, will you track them down in my stead? From the strained look in his eyes, the heroes could see how hard it was <coughs> for the honorable ranger to burden them with this dangerous task. So they made him an oath that none of the orcs who had ventured so close to Bree would live to return again. Well said, replied Iarian. Then he raised his sword in salute and spoke. May the spirit of Orome guide you on your hunt. With that, the ranger sheathed his blade and hurried away. The heroes watched him head north along the greenway for a minute before turning their eyes to the east and the trail of their enemies. We did it. And then the resolution of the campaign card. Note the amount of damage on Protect the Innocent in the campaign log and add Protect the Innocent to the campaign pool. <clears throat> and then this is just a little summary of the, the last part of the uh, epilogue there. I'm afraid our work is not fi yet finished, my friend, said Iarian, gazing at a distance. Blah, 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 blah. So we don't get anything from having strange. one damage on it? Uh, well, we only have one damage that carries over to the next one. <laughs> All that work from the first one. That's the whole reason we didn't finish the very first time. Eh, not the whole reason. Uh, I was using good. Illegal Hero, too. Oh. Why did so, I yeah, do somewhere it? there is a... Uh, oh, here it is. The Angmar Awakened campaign log. So we need to make note... Looks like I won't be able, I shouldn't do this in pen since it's going to change from scenario to scenario. So, um, I can put our score down though. That was 151. And I will mark that we have with a pencil that we have one damage on Protect the Innocent. No damage on heroes. No unique cards stolen by goblins. Ten, and then we'll just make sure that oh, we have to add. Uh, yeah, we have to add. Uh, where's the campaign people at? There's no campaign pool on this one. <laughs> I guess it would be considered a burden. I guess so. I'll just add it here on the burdens list. Protect the innocent. All right. That is going to do it for this episode. Hooray. Thanks everyone for watching. We finally beat it on our fourth attempt. And next week, or not, maybe not next week, but next time, 
we will be playing the Weathered Hills. So thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Stay back.